Hey everybody, it's Chris from Fairly Awesome Podcast with this week's Fairly Awesome WTF Movie Review. Oh, what the f***? Is this for real? This week's gem is Killer Tomatoes Eat France, part four of the Tomatoes Trilogy. In case you missed the previous films, the Tomato Trilogy focuses on, obviously, killer tomatoes who gain sentience and are attacking all sorts of people. Having not seen the other films, which I'll no doubt be doing at some point, I'm assuming the two sequels between Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and Killer Tomatoes Eat France follow a similar plotline. But we're not here to talk about those probably terrible movies. We're here to talk about this terrible movie. Filmed on location in France, except when filming took place elsewhere, as you noted in the credits, Killer Tomatoes Eat France begins with Professor Grand Green, played by John Astin, who you probably don't remember as the original Gomez Adams from the Adams Family back when it was in black and white. Escape from a French prison with the prophecy of Nicodemus, which foretells the coming of a new king of France who just so happens to be Gangrene's assistant, Igor. With Igor as the king of France, Gangrene will finally be able to unleash his army of killer tomatoes on the world. Why, you ask? To conquer the world, of course. Michael J. Fox, not his real name, is backpacking through France when he meets Marie, who seems to be named after every other single French girl in the film who's named Marie. He falls in love with her, meets her backwards French parents and sister, takes her to Paris to escape her old life, and they go through Paris. In a Paris imitation of American shopping mall, they see a poster for Fuzzy Tomato, a hairy tomato creature from one of the earlier films, who Gangrene attempts to use to take over the world and fails miserably. Gangrene, dressed as Santa, kidnaps Fuzzy and replaces him with one of the other mean tomatoes. The mean tomatoes incite an anti-human pro-tomato riot at the concert. Meanwhile, absconding with the tomato to Igor's really big castle, Gangrene extracts what he needs from Fuzzy. Michael and Marie discover where Fuzzy's been taken and sneak into Igor's really big castle. Ultimately, Michael is dropped into a basement of death, and Marie is stuck in the tower jail with Fuzzy, leaving Gangrene free to begin his assault on France. Having escaped the basement of death by burning the page in the script where he dies, Michael joins the French army to fight against the killer tomatoes. Michael attempts and fails repeatedly to get himself killed, Gangrene creates Tomato Head, a giant fire-breathing tomato with legs, and the world succumbs to the attack of the killer tomatoes. Or does it? Does it really matter? So in case you were thinking, hey, Killer Tomatoes Eat France, this, this sounds like a deep, meaningful film, you may want to pick this week to stop sniffing glue. The Killer Tomatoes franchise in general is intended to be B-movie spoofs, so there's a lot of what you might consider campy silliness. Killer Tomatoes Eat France kind of comes across as a Hot Shot style film, but doesn't quite pull it off as well as Hot Shots did. There's a lot of fourth wall breaks, cameraman goofs, and enough one-liners to make your eyeballs roll so far back into your head you can see your own ass. While there are some slightly amusing moments, not even a handful of chuckles can really save this film. I'm sure the decision to place the film in France was so they could make all the hilarious French jokes scattered throughout the film. And by hilarious French jokes, I mean terrible accents, sticking le in front of regular English words, and shouting French phrases adopted by English like déjà vu and potpourri. It just makes everything seem really forced. Maybe they ruined all the major American cities in the first three films, so they had to resort to destroying Europe. I don't know. Even for the mildly amusing points, the movie isn't worth it. Unless you really like bad B-movies, or John Astin, or Skippy from Family Ties. I wonder, though, do you think, uh, you think we could probably take that book and instead of doing zombies, we could do, like, French people? You think that? Probably wouldn't? No? Not any good? No, oh, whatever. Well, that does it for this go-round. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash fairlyawesomepodcast. Follow us on Twitter at FAPcast. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave suggestions for other movies you'd like to see. And until next time, I'll see you at the movies. We're, we're going to get sued for that? Uh, shit. Hello, ladies. Let me tell you about this movie I watched. This is, this is Fabcast After Dark. This is Fabcast After Dark. Where all where everything is on the table, including my junk. Oh, we love it when your junk's on the table. And Chris. Nate's junk, too. Oh, yeah. All kinds you of know, we're going to get some photos out there. We're going to get some photos out there so you ladies can see what we're seeing. We're uncomfortably close to each other right this now. This is very close right now. Might be having my hand on his balls. You don't know. You? We could be on doing this. On you the table. On everything. I, everything is on the table.